you know, speaking about vulnerability, I think you don't get to choose your moments of vulnerability. Because your mind is always, will always try to defend it na kaya mo pa, kaya mo pa, kaya mo pa. When I saw that mirror na parang, ay, ito yung trash? Ito, pal- ito pala yung sinabihang trash. You know, they always say, noong, at that moment, naniwala ako na parang, it's the dress, it's not you, it's the dress, it's not you. Pero kasi, I think what really clicked was, I know the truth. That dress was as much a part of who I am. Kahit nasabihin yung dress yun. Ano ba yung dress na yun? That was a piece of my consciousness. That was my best in that five, six hour moment that I was given. That was, that is as much a part of who I am. Kahit nasabihin mong garment lang yan, fuck that. That garment was me. That was my creativity. That was my passion. Walang magsasabi na hindi, I didn't do my best. That, yun yung masakit eh. This is my best. And I was called a trash. So it's real. And now, actually, I was at unpacked yung, ano, yung Twitter spaces. Atrocity, ugly, you know, and, um, and how you held it. Oh my God. Yeah, and I was told nga doon, actually, a lot of people related to it because there are lots of people who who think that they are being judged by their gender expression and thinking that, that that's all there is to them. If um, a trans woman... Now, who doesn't who, who hasn't fully transitioned? natin medyo masculine pa yung mga figures yeah. niya, Will be looked down by the society because of where because hindi they were a short shorts. Eh, di pa di mo bang sabihin na parang pagtinawag kita pangit? Yung shorts mo lang yung pangit hindi ikaw. You know, it's a uh, what my experience. What happened there was a reality that resonated to a lot of people, especially members of the LGBTQ community. And what hurt it the most is that it came from someone that's also within the community. Like as if hurling hateful words is just so easy. I'll be honest, like, well, anyway, this is rolling. And just for the, I don't know, for, Raho messaged me the very same night that it aired. He was trying to call me at 9 a.m., but I was not okay. So I told him, Sir Raho, I'm not okay. And. You know, I wanted to ask, parang, I cannot wrap my head around. I don't think I will ever understand how the words ugly, trash, and atrocious will ever come from a place of love. Do you honestly believe that I deserve that? I asked him that. Do you really think it was that bad? Do you really think I deserve those words? And I go, you know what, in Nectar, kasi, I, have been call, I, has been, I have been called delusional. I've been called Bobo. I was told that I was not creative enough. That's why I was so traumatized by episode 3 sa Pop of Ate. Then I was labeled um, queen with two left feet. And now called trash. So I told Sir Raho, imagine how damaged and tired I am of people being so reckless with their words, just hurling hateful words to me. Why? That... Diba? You know, it takes it takes so much um, time, effort, mental fortitude to build yourself up. Yeah. And it only takes seconds to utter words that will damage yeah. you for a lifetime. Why? Why? Diba? You can use your words to uplift people. Why not use it? Mm. Why, can Le- why Leo Almodal can reach out to me and give me a constructive criticism. Diba? Pero it still, pero I don't know Sir Raho as a person. And you don't know me. That's why we should always be careful with our words. Diba? Yeah. And say so Is it more, uh, uh, I was gonna ask, is it more beautiful in in the videos than in person? Because if you're gonna get oh, just some, some video, Yes, yeah. maybe it's like Nori, as you mentioned. Your textual term. For me, the styling, the composition. I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, I actually, the, it's like I've said, it's just a series of bad decisions after another, given a short span of time. The choice of materials, it's not what I'm going to do. Because when I spray paint, it's not what I'm going to do. 
Nagiging Brit. Ah, para akong relyenong bangus, guys. Like, <laughs> alam mo yung nasunog na foil, di ba? Sushing tampal po. Kore, kahit, sa, kahit sa nakuumo po, merong item. Para talaga akong nagkakalat. And then second is like, maganda siya nung nasa manikin. Like, kasi I spray painted it sa manikin. So lahat ng uh, sa labas siya, pinapatuyo ko. Lahat na napapadaan na parang, ay, ang ganda nito. Ah, ganyan. So they had high hopes. Eh, hindi ko pala kasize yung manikin. Tapos nung sinuot ko siya, From from the Shopee lens look to the Divisoria look, we only had 15 minutes in between to change. Tapos nung sinusuot mo na siya, unti-unti na siyang nalalaglag, girl! Tapos, oh my God, nakalabas na yung puwet ko! And I was like, yeah, and it's a race. It's a competition. I think everything that has happened needed to happen. So, It would have been a very fun episode before the judging because when my boyfriend Christopher and I were watching it, ang fun mo tingnan, sabi ko sa kanya, parang first time may outside na na clip na nag, nag spray paint ka talaga and parang you were representing all of the all of the people na nagsa-start pa lang na discover na shit gusto ko pa mag-drag and nakikita namin si Eva na shit ginagawa niya talaga na yung craft niya ginagawa niya step by step na nakaka-inspire the, the most hurtful siguro part of that episode was that hindi lang ikaw yung tinawag na trash yung lahat ng tao na naniwala sa iyo That was the thing that really hurt us, siguro na, because it was fucking good on TV. Yeah. Because you were. Ako sa akin ang masakit don. When you're lined up with the other girls, and sorry ha, pero para sa akin mas maganda pa rin yung suot mo. Tasa sabihin na pinakapangit yung suot mo, lined up with the other girls, and the way you held up your your yourself, yourself, and you're just like smiling. Like hell. Kaya nung nakita namin nung nasa antak, when you cried, when you cried, when you lean to the to the mirror, and ina, this is the moment that I don't want. Yeah, yeah. This is the moment that I never wanted to happen. Alam mo yun, we felt you. We felt you so much. Panina panina tayo, te ha? Panina panina tayo, ha? But it's such as life. Diba? I mean, how many times have we given our all, given our best, and someone can just easily say that it's not, it's not good enough? Diba? Pero Del, we would like to know where you get that, that feeling of... Kasi ko, yung sinabi ni Kenny Musa, I'm gonna throw my phone and judge it. The way you handled your... I mean, the way that you handled your... The composed sure. The, the, the gracefully... Graceful... graceful. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yes. Holy Spirit activate. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit activate. It's like, um, to be really honest, hindi siya nag-sync in agad. And I think that was my defense mechanism talaga. Pumasok nga ako, masaya pa ako nakakita ko ng chisarong bulaklak eh. Di ba? It was really, I think it was, actually, parang Holy Spirit talaga siya. Come to think of it. Kasi, si Mama Mary daw yun. Pero I was like, hindi ko pa rin. Pero, you know, hindi sa ayo. Pero, you called, you said the word atrocity. These, such a word kasi, can only make sense to me. And maybe, I don't know. Maybe there will be queens. So, pag sinabi mo atrocity, ah, ano yun? Chichiria. <laughs> Chichiria. Transformers ba yun? <laughs> Atrocity. Transformers ah, ba yun? Atrocity. Ano yun? <laughs> Pero you know, I, that, the word atrocity hit me talaga to the core. Ay. May iinom na ng antibiotics. <laughs> May iinom na. Over time na tayo. Ah, it's okay. Um, <laughs> ano pa naman. Pero yeah, I think, um, hindi talaga siya nag-sync in ng mabilis. But when it did, oh, shit hit the fan. Yeah, na talagang we felt it. Oh my god! And it, I can't breathe. Totoo, hindi talaga ako makahinga when I was crying. Na parang I have, I think I haven't cried that hard in my life. Mas iniyak ako pa yung kesa sa jowa ko na. So parang I haven't cried that hard. Pero It needed to happen, and 
Yeah, look at where we are right now. Yeah. Diba? It only proves na parang we can normalize crying. You can cry. It's okay not to be okay. Pick yourself up. Wala akong uhog. Itago natin sa pangalang silhouette. At least, ang ganda ng iyak. I was, I was, wa- I was watching it. Ang ganda ko pala umiyak. <laughs> Pang camera. Wala. Walang nido soup. Diba? Ang ganda ko. Ang ganda ng iyak ko dyan. I love it. The next scene was like, wala na yung wig ko, kinakomfort na ako. Kasi it was really unexpected. Hindi ko talaga sa hinara. Hindi ko sa ginawa ko nung nakaharap yung camera. Hinara mo, hinamit mo yung angulo mo eh, no? But uh, yeah, it was, you, like I said, you don't get to choose your moments of vulnerability. Plastic, yung kay Brigadine, gusto ko yung itsura mo nun eh. Pwede nung mag-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i